you are playing the Stanley Parable, which I have no clue what to expect. My manager, Logan, picked it for me. And uh, yeah, he says I'm gonna like it, so I trust him. I trust my manager. So let's just jump right in, begin the game. Although I'm not gonna lie. Oh. The end is never, the end is never, the end is never, the end is loading? <laughs> never. Yeah, just a little one off for Thursdays, exactly. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about Cat Quest earlier today. Like, I like that little game, so I'm excited to play Cat Quest again on Thursday. I mean, Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So quiet. So what's going on with everybody? What's happening? Anything cool? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Ooh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Interesting. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Oh my god. Although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment <laughs> soul rending. of came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley <laughs> was happy. Well, that's good that he's happy. It <laughs> sounds like a nice and job. Yeah, right. Day, slip my wrist. Something peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. <laughs> yeah, apple pie. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. If the salary is enough, not one I should probably listen to this. Had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no! No one had showed up to give him instructions, <gasps> call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete That's weird. isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen, solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. That's my cue. But Apple Pie, here's the thing. You ask, I wonder how much he makes. Yeah, if the salary was, was dope, it might be worth it. Like, say he was making like a million dollars a year, I'd be like, yeah, I'd probably do that. But, is he literally sitting there all the time, in which case he wouldn't even have an opportunity to spend his millions? So then what's the point of even making a salary? But then if he works like nine to five, and then he goes home and he has weekends off, and he makes a million dollars, I'd probably do this for a million dollars. It would be soul wrenching, as it said, however, Could be worth it. I'd like to do easy and repetitive work for a, a decent salary. You know what? I always thought that maybe like factory work would be okay, like light factory work, you know, where you just like literally like put stuff on an assembly line or something. But I think the monotony would get to me very quickly. I feel like in my life, I value uh, like something different happening all the time you know i value uh, a spontaneity a little bit or like uh, what's the word i'm looking for different <laughs> what's you know what i'm freaking trying to say <sighs> anyway let's explore Whoop. and we're off variation thank you <laughs> variety thank you <laughs> Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, that's the one. I kept wanting to say difference for some reason, which is also valid. But yeah, variety. I value variety. Thank you. 
Looking around. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Are we looking for a memo? Look at all these numbers. Sorry, my XY thing is inverted, I think. Eh. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who farted? <laughs> Look at this bug. <laughs> Who farted? I can't get any closer. That's fine. A desk that has only the one pencil and sharpener? I know. This is my desk. Oh, the pencil sharpener. There's not even a pencil here. It's just the sharpener. <laughs> I don't know if any doors. Oh, Ooh, I can. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? <gasps> no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Oh. Well, okay then. I feel like he's moving at mock speed. Options. Oh, video, perhaps? Nope. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm not using the mouse, so that's cool. Wow, Zarinos. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think that might be my only place to do it anyway uh this one reverse mouse <laughs> let's see ah oh. was that the same as before i have no clue whatever whatever moving on am i looking around for clues hello I'm going to the meeting room. Okay. Why did everybody leave? Everybody's gone. Is this the meeting room? Is this where I came from? No. Hello? Oh my god. Did they crawl up in the ceiling? This is like the ugliest office building I've ever seen in my life. Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. Oh my God, is this haunted? This isn't a scary game, is it? It's like break the glass. Oh, is this the meeting room? I'm here! Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. To the boss's office. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. <laughs> That would be me. I would be the whiteboard manager, I think. 
not touch all of my whiteboard scritch scratch. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. Don't you just love these types of meetings? Like equality in the workplace type meetings? <laughs> uh... Ooh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. I just want to make sure. We're going up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. How far up? Hmm? Farther. Ooh, his boss's office. Wow, swanky. Oh my god, it's massive. Hello? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And My. so the boss had assigned it an <coughs> extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley <laughs> happened to input the correct code by uh -oh. sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Wow. I like this game tells you what to do. It's my kind of game. There's no guessing to be left for me. I'm pressing it 80 million times. Oh. <sighs> Had to be exactly on it, I suppose. <clears throat> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. You said this wasn't a horror game. I feel very horror-ish in here. Stanley walked straight Ooh. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. <laughs> I'm like inclined to do what it says, but I'm also inclined to go over here where it says escape. Oh my. What should I do? Should I do what it says? Mind control seems bad. But what if you're... But what if, like, you're actually supposed to because escape, like, looks too good to be true. You know what I mean? It's like a trick. It's a... Okay, Liz says let's escape. Let's just do it. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this fall, oh. Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh my god. Let's see, this hall is pretty flippin' long. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity <laughs> to turn around and get back on track. 
It really does seem like I should be turning point, around. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh my god. I'm sticking with it. You say let's turn back. Now I want to stick with it. I'm scared. It's down there. I don't know what to do. Let's do it. I came all this way. That didn't sound good. <laughs> I think it really was great. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Word into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he I'm gonna die. And willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. I can't go anywhere. Stanley, Oh shit. Goodbye. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, <laughs> as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh no, Stanley. Is this the afterlife? Oh. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. <laughs> Workers what exactly comp. did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I really don't know. I hope he gets workers comp. I mean, he did. Oh no. My footrest is discombobulated, you guys. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, this looks lovely. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death <laughs> the becomes The IKEA footrest whose name I forget already. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh my god. Yeah, the footrest, we named it. I forgot his name. I forget already. It's on the label, but now my feet are just nicely propped, so. Wow. Nature paintings, just in case you didn't know. Stanley's computer? Oh, we're in the museum. Ooh, the office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and all do throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Wow. Holy shit. Corridor. Filing cabinets. Office computer. Somebody's playing solitaire. Remember that game? Game credits. Weird. This is really very weird. This is technically an ending. Okay. I was gonna say, this is like the credits and everything. So can I go back into a room? That is a no. So then what? 
<laughs> Speed run any percent. Done. What's over here? Wow, Zarinos. Oh my god, look at how gigantic this museum is. Employee lounge. Interesting. What's up here? I think they made their own museum for this game. This is like the coolest museum I've ever seen. I haven't seen all of these yet. Okay, go to the menu and try it again. Begin the game again. Let's do it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I guess I should do what it tells me. Now I want to go off course again, because it was so daring. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I am going to do what it says, but next time I'm going to go to the right. Bet your ass. Okay, we made it to the meeting room again. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of this <laughs> talk less. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I love these slides. How to solve how to solve a dispute. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passively aggressively. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his <clears throat> boss's office. What's over here? Executive bathroom? Ooh. Because the boss knows that what the boss says goes, if the boss has suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. My lord. That's a tongue twister. Okay, seriously, this entire large bathroom and you have this tiny little pedestal sink. I would have like a foam blown vanity and everything. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This game is interesting. There's like nothing going on, but a lot going on, you know? I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna do what it tells me this time. We're going to mind control. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. We're doing it. Get that mind controlled. Let's do it. Control me. The lights rose on an enormous Ooh. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh no. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to be right back. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. Excuse me, wall. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Free havoc and chat. No, you don't even have time. I'm not gone that long. Okay. <laughs> Emotes. You can still wreak havoc. Go for it. Where are the buttons? Ooh, there's one. Now the monitors jumped uh -oh. to life, their true nature revealed. Each oh bore the God. number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Wow. Look at all those. Uh, what, um... Well, y'all are here, y'all. Uh, what, what, what Jackbox should I do get? Are this there any Jackbox games that are your favorite? It's too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had be Stanley true. really been under someone's control all this time? Oh was this God. the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? This is like a. Uh... The Truman Show. I haven't played many. Most of them are really fun. I figured. I, I don't really know anything about them. I just, uh, yeah, they, uh, I'm sure anyone would be good. I just didn't know if there was any in particular no, that, that was good over another. To believe it. He couldn't I wanted to ask you guys. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yeah, it's possible. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay. He would dismantle the controls. What do we get? Well, there's a uh, facility power. What's down here? Anything cool? What's this do? Three. What's this up here? Five. Oh no, do you think I have to press these in order, you guys? A puzzle? What do we got over here? Okay, here's one. So logically I should hit one, right? 
one. Two. Was that a good beeping sound? Three is over here. I think that's oh, I see four is up there. Four. Oh. At least he walks fast. Hey, Fantas! How's it going? Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. Five. I don't think anything happened when I did that. Is Unless there's six. What's in here? Mind control is idle. Awaiting input. Uh Okay, let's walk around and see. Uh oh. In that room over there? Should we go in here and look? Mind control is idle, awaiting input. Is this gonna tell me what I need to do, maybe? Maybe. And System power. Oh. The room's power. Lord. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So off? rising chill of uncertainty was it over we don't know yes. he had won oh yay he had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command freedom was mere moments away what's he gonna do when he's yet, free though even as the immense door slowly opened stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. My god, are we gonna get outside? Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No Hurry longer up. would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever life he lives, it will be. <laughs> All right, his. you. No, stay inside. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. <gasps> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility it. of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aww, that's cute. As long as Stanley's happy. I know, I'm free! Hey Brent, how's it going? Welcome, sir. How's your ear doing? Brent got a ear piercing today, <laughs> I saw. Okay, now we're back to square one. Let's go to the right this time. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? All of his co-workers were gone, 
What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's sore now? Yeah. It will be. It'll get- it'll be fine, though. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, see, I want to go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> sure. Get it. First one went well, this one should too. Yeah. It's only an earlobe, as long as you keep it clean, right? It, it'll be fine. Obviously, it's sore because you literally pierced a hole into your body, so... <laughs> But that's cool. I think I should get another piercing too. What do you think? What should I get pierced? <laughs> on my ears mostly, not anywhere else on my body. Ooh, this is a nice yes, lounge. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I saw that double helix. <laughs> yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really Okay, it. okay, I'm leaving. Jeez. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ooh. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. What if I don't want to do that? It was the rapture. <laughs> oh. She'll be all right. Lauren will be all right. See, I don't, I don't want to walk through the other door because that's so boring. If I walk through this door and I go back to the meeting room, is it just going to go back to the same story again? Like, what about here? Let's go down here and see what's going on. Ooh, I'm being such a badass, defying all the rules. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. <laughs> All oh, right. No. Oh, no, it's to the right, my mistake. Man, that's quirky. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What <laughs> I don't I know. Thinking? It's clearly... Uh, oh dear, will you hold on for a minute, please? He doesn't know! I'm stuck! See, it's hell, right, I know! I'm stuck left, in this storage down, room for life! Left, right. Yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Any plans for the weekend, anybody? What's going on? What's happening in people's lives? Oh, we're back no, here? No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a this spoiler. This is a spoiler. Right, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Lisa has a sense of humor. It's and that person was fired. Whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste your time your trying to solve this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay, from the top. Oh, I can't defy him. He wants me to do exactly what he wants. Working as well. Cool. Yeah, we don't have any plans. 
I think our house is a disaster right now. We're getting a new floor on the upstairs. <laughs> I know, I'm not a free elf. Now! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, so we have no floor upstairs. All of our furniture is uh, down here in the basement, strewn all about. We've been basically migrating to one little TV room in the basement. Which is okay. It's I mean, it could be much worse. We still have our bedroom and all the bathrooms and everything. But we don't have a kitchen, so... We've been eating out, which, you know what? We've only been eating out for four days now. And I'm already really sick of it. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. <laughs> when Stan... Wait, wait, what? No, I'm... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or a... Come <laughs> on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I like this little British I accent. Sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Ooh, yay! Let's find the story. <laughs> Done the no floor thing. Yeah, it is a drag. Well... So our house is like brand new, but basically they installed the floor wrong to begin with. Is I'm just going to shorten this story. The floor was installed wrong, so now they're replacing it. So it's good for getting a new floor. But yes, it's a little bit of an inconvenience for the kitchen part. And yeah, it's I'll say it. It gets this old. Is the worst adventure oh, jeez. OK, I promise you, where do you want to go? Look at door, guys. A story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely. Let's go we'll over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. OK, let's give it a shot. Why not? Uh, oh, was I not fast enough? <laughs> Uh, Logan and I said, let's take this opportunity to try some places in uh, where we work uh, that we haven't had before. Like, for example, there's this Indian place um, that we've never had Indian. So we're like, let's try it. You know, I'll bring it home so we can be home. We're going to do it tomorrow night after work. So we have the whole weekend to recover just in case it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, Lord, <laughs> like I just. Ugh. It's a lot. That guy's going to eventually yell, take the, the left door. I know he is. <laughs> uh. OK, what do you got for me this time? All of man? his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. Okay, I'm going to do what you tell me as per usual. <laughs> and I try like the food I tried. I'm trying to think like, okay, what can we have that's like not heavy and not healthy? Because it's so easy to get like pizza and burgers and drive through and everything, but it's like greasy and heavy and fatty and gross and everything. So I've been trying to think of like healthier alternatives like salads, but with protein or wraps or bowls or whatever. But then it's like three times the price. It's so expensive. Oh, first world problems, I guess, is what I'm saying. Okay, There's no the doors. Works. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible this the guy is back cracked. where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I do really like pizza. We actually had Little Caesars tonight. <laughs> That's what we had. We had a deep dish from Little Caesars, stuffed crazy bread, and it was delicious. Don't get me wrong. I do love pizza. And Logan, you can eat pizza like three times a day every day. I know. But I just get like literally I, I you know, I don't mean to be like conceited here, but I have nice skin. And I usually don't, don't have problems with my skin, but lately, oh my gosh, the zits, like, all in here, 
and hear like acne and zits like popping whiteheads and stuff which is not my style but it's like all this grease there's nowhere else for it to go except pulse out my face oh dear oh well Back into our uh, cubby? I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay. Oh my god. It's one of those things no, where oh. mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way. Hey Squaw! We'll How's steps. it going? Man, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? It's we're stuck. Vito just released Pimple Papa. <laughs> Should I make a TikTok? I know. And I, I have to say, I know this is really gross, but I actually love popping pimples. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't get a lot of them. So when I get one, it's like, it's like a, what do I say? It's, it's really rare. So it's, it's a treat for me, <laughs> which is terrible. The weather there in Kyrgyzstan is bad? Like, what kind of bad? What's the weather like? Is it... Do you have... Like, I don't know Kyrgyzstan very well in terms of the weather. Do they have, like, tornado season or monsoon season or anything like that? I guess you're landlocked-ish, so... I don't know. Yes, they are very satisfying, Brent. And I, on, lately on TikTok, I, uh... I've been watching just like pimple popping videos. I mean, it's disgusting, but it's just like, I can't turn my eyes away. <laughs> Foggy, kind of humid, getting colder and almost always cloudy. That sounds like exactly what it's like here. It's been super foggy here the last few days, even where apple pie is too, which we're like, um, I would say maybe like five or six hours away from each other, like by car. And it's the same. A apple pie you said the other day was foggy as well. I think it's because it's like, I find it unseasonally warm for this time of year. Like normally it's a bit cooler. It looks like Silent Hill. I know. Yeah. Um, it, it's normally cooler this time of year, I would say, but it's a little bit warm. Like today it was like, it was uh, 18, which that's pretty warm for November. Uh, not many tornadoes, that's good. Yeah, we don't have anything like that here, like where I am in Ontario. We don't have any weather concerns, which is great. I feel bad for the people that are stuck in, like, Tornado Alley or Hurricane Alley or wherever, you know? Super foggy here, too. Yeah, up in Toronto the other day. Yeah, I saw a TikTok today that in uh, Toronto. It was super... You guys are going to think my whole life re revolves around TikTok. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't. But I saw a TikTok uh, from Toronto that was like super foggy. It's the cold now and this, the warm well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize coming this together. Is this the story? I don't think so. This doesn't look like the I office anymore. Recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Yes. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, so random. A lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. So, what else is new, Squav? Oh no! I know you usually come into my GeoGuessr streams. I've been taking a break from GeoGuessr lately, and just playing some other. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Oh, here we go. If you didn't know, Africa got a lot of new coverage. Oh, for GeoGuessr. That's cool. The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Squav, I, I, I'm taking a break from GeoGuessr. It's not, I, I mean, I love the game. I just kind of feel like I, I wanted to play other games. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to go back to GeoGuessr. I don't know when. Eventually, I'm sure. 
but I'm having fun playing stupid games like this. <laughs> October, I was playing like horror game after horror game, which was super entertaining. Mostly for people watching me. I was just going to say that, Fantas. I know I've pissed off the narrator, and I think I'm just going too slow. He can't wait for me. Oh, we've never been in here before. Okay, I'm following the line like he tells me. You see? The line knows where the story is. <laughs> it's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yep. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the <laughs> act of moving. Like it goes up on the wall. Are we implying a journey such They're that the destination fun. is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back then. No kidding. Well, I'd like to apologize. Stop being so, sure so I philosophical. I better follow this line. I think what we need right now is oh. a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh shit. <laughs> They're having fun, right? This is perfect game. <laughs> well, thank you. Do I have to follow it literally behind here? Okay, forget that. Cut the music. <gasps> Go back and look at that fern. Where? Ooh, magnificent. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Okay. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. Are you seeing this, everyone? This fern is magnificent. Studied. Glorious, immaculate fern. Beautiful. Impeccable. Wait, we're, we're back at the office? No. No, no. Line... You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The yes. Story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Mm. A beautiful fern. Uh oh. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Well, you I can't failed take us. Any more to hell with it. Restart. Oh my god. Oh no. I know. I was going to say, I love how the word line is trademarked. Okay, what do you got for us this time? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent <laughs> It didn't fit right? it. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Here? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path. Stanley and I. Story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to oh be? My gosh. Go wild. Use your imagination. African lion safari. Be, Stanley, I'm ready Go for wild. It. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Chandler is not there. Crazy-ass line. There it left. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, Sweet. the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. <laughs> Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. 
which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. What? So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Lord. Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? After a long time, Stanley dies. <laughs> all this goes? It's all determined? So now, that's according sad. to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget Wander what's Wander in the on. blackness. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. It restarts. Stopped? Uh oh. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How he is losing his marbles. Well, He's gone uh a little cuckoo, cuckoo for something cocoa happened. puffs. So okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. So we're here. Saying that life Find is the confusing the end and schedule. The destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We're booking it. Oops. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I was gonna say, should I go downstairs? Oh, the door closed. I don't think I can go down now. Yep, sorry. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm doing what it tells me. The moment he entered his I'm manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Oh. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found the keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2-8. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. 
so he relaxed for a few moments oh, with some sorry. new age music. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. How's it going? Welcome. Come on in. We're just playing a funny, quirky game. The narrator is mad at me because I tried to skip through his text. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stan. It really has thought of everything. Into the opened passageway. <laughs> I'm sorry, narrator. Should just do exactly what you say. <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's uh, it's a chill night. Oh, uh, my hair is bothering me. You ever wish you could just shave your head bald sometimes and just be done with it? What ending are you going to give us now? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Is it going to be different from last time? The lights mm -hmm. rose on an enormous room. Yeah, he would be baldy hails. I know. What Blame. Secret did Hello, this true Axiom. Welcome. Come on in. Did he How are you? To find out. We're playing the Stanley Parable, which you basically just walk around and a bunch of different alternate endings happen. Oh no, you're telling me to glitch? Oh no, I'm not a glitcher. I'm not- I'm very terrible at games. It's bad enough I can't even get through a game normally instead of glitching. Walk on the chair? Should I do it? This chair back here? The front of the chair. Gotcha. I'm not a glitcher. You must be a gamer extraordinaire. Get up there. Walk on the chair. Nope. Not letting me do it. That's okay. I'm not a glitcher, I'm sorry. I'm gonna play the game like normal. Now the monitors jump to life. They're true. I'm not a speedrunner. <laughs> Are you a, a speedrunner, true? In the building. Stan is co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. In the remake, there is an Easter egg that references that bug. Eh, that's funny. No, I don't speedrun the game, but I know pretty much everything about the game. Oh, geez, I didn't even have to explain what I was playing, did I? This, this is my first time playing. Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions his had been manipulated job. to accept it blindly? No. He refused to You love this game? I like it too. It's it, it is interesting. In someone else's control? Never. It's it funny. It's uh it's Wasn't witty. It? Was it even possible? It's interesting that they have so many different paths that you can take. Utterly blind to the world? Where are you from, True? I always like to know where people are from. Do you hail from some exotic far off land? There's some endings that I know for sure you won't find in a single stream. They are hidden extremely well. You're from Canada? Me too! Where in Canada? Hey, Bo Bear. I like Solitaire too. I like Solitaire when I'm really bored. I play Solitaire on my phone. But, uh, you know, 
Quebec. Excellent. Oh, thank you so much for the, the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it. How's it going, Bo Bear? How are you this evening? And it's late where you are. What are you doing up so late? Began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. He's doing it. So can you play the same ending over again? Like, or do you only play the, the one ending once and every time you play it's a different ending? You know what I mean? Oh, it's only 9... I guess it is only 9.42. Sorry. <laughs> Uh just finished the final season of The Shield. Shield, The Shield, The Shield. I've never seen that show. Was it good? Aren't there like a million seasons of The Shield? You watched the whole thing? That's impressive. Oh, so you, okay, true, you can play them over and over. Okay, gotcha. And when at last he found the source of the room's He's doing power, it. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yeah, I had a feeling it was uh, a lot. Is it? Isn't there a bald guy in that show? I don't. I don't know his name. Seven seasons. I like police dramas. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Thank you, Bo Bear. Well, thanks for coming in. It was nice chatting with you very briefly. Have an excellent yes. evening. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments Yeah, I was going to say, isn't his name Chickless or something? Yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still <laughs> Bye, Bo Bear. Also. Where had his co-workers gone? How okay, true. I've already been to this ending. Grass. Once you restart the game, walk to desk 434. It has a square as chair. Okay, I'm gonna follow this after chamber, I come out of here. He realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had Walk on the seen. edge while looking towards but the perhaps, desk. You will get on the chair, head to the windows while crouching. Oh no, what's crouch? I'm using a controller. No Is there a crouch on this? Or I guess I can press control. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It and walk inside the window and the rest is for you to discover. In fact, there is a skull on the door. left side of the ending as an Easter. On this ending? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were <laughs> Yeah, sorry, be. Liz. <laughs> we walked outside again. <laughs> I'm, I, like I said, true, I'm, I'm not good at, um, Switching. You have to use free cam? Oh, yeah, I know. It's like, I don't have that. Okay, now, once you restart the game, walk to desk 434. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 432. No matter how 433. Hard looked, 434. He found a trace of his co-workers. It has a square chair, I see. Walk on the edge while looking towards the desk. Like here? Oops. Here? Is there a jump button in? Ooh. Ooh, crouch. I found the crouch button. By the back of the chair? There's no... Is there a jump button in this game? Yeah, 
get on the chair. He doesn't- Oh! <gasps> I'm up! Okay, I'm not moving. Okay, go to the window. Am I supposed to be crouching now? Crouch. Get on the chair, head to the windows while crouching. And walk inside the window. Crouch and move. Okay. He's not walking any further. Ooh, ooh. You guys. First, Danny assumed he'd broken the map. I glitched! Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination <laughs> of structural narrative tropes. So, so witty. Now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? <laughs> Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> no. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here I know. Question. I'm going to have to make a TikTok on my very first glitch. If you had told me that ever. you wanted this to stop, do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you Hi, to Ross, restart man. and then come back here? Welcome, just to do come the other on option? in. Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, it's part of the game. Well, can we just Which call it a glitch because I never one. would have done this Imagine if it wasn't if you for you? Continue on your first playthrough. How tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are. I like to think it's a ones. glitch. It makes so me feel if the better. Other option is really miserable to listen to. Then perhaps you're not. In fact, that's I'm a real glitch. I should that try that. Listening to this is lucky. Well, now, he does sound like I a robot, eh, Ross man? So much He's the narrator. Stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> He's British, exactly. He's British. Woo! I suppose I should say that I am sick of the gag if I want to get out. Now I restart. I gotcha. Okay. Begin the game again. <laughs> Thank you for that. I never ever would have thought. You should come back and do yes? Okay. Let's do it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace I just don't know how to, how to actually get up. Okay, Brent, thank you so much for joining. Have a, a great weekend. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. See you later. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I'm up. Get up again. Ooh. Crouch. Walk. Hey, I never would have done this. Honestly, true. I I never. I don't do stuff like this. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure Indeed. and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? <laughs> yes, it is. Just to drink it all in. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? I'm going to say yes. 
Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game <laughs> any old time you want, like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. <laughs> Here we go. There once was a man named Stan. <laughs> I was going to say, is he a good singer? <laughs> people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. Okay, he Ross man, no worries. Like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful it's way. It's three minutes, oh the lord. His brain had long ceased to function. There's also another part that I don't know if he did it, but there are two alternate endings that involves you to jump off the platform in the warehouse. No, I haven't done that. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. Will become quite unbearable. Should restart? Okay. Fair enough. I don't want to listen to that. Go to door two. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Terrifying. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's put the metal bridge walk down on it. Okay, when I get there. Wrong door? They're not numbered, it's left and right. <laughs> oh no, should I start again? I can't go back, I don't think. Won't let me. I might as well go downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first, because I've always wanted to see what was downstairs when I go up to the boss's office. Yet there was not a single person here. We'll get either. there, True, don't worry. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let's see what's Coming down. To staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I did go in the broom closet. There was nothing in there before. Let's go down here and see what's about. Ooh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Who just leaves he their lights the on? The of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed a competitive economy had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example... <laughs> he tried to leave the office before he turned to dust. Yeah, down. exactly. <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him? That's what I was just going to say. And why did the doors matter, close? These rooms were starting oh, to no. look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? They no, were. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, <laughs> he yelled. This He's is sleeping at his desk. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. No. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. 
Then I think we might be here for oh soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still <laughs> not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now it's like stranger than fiction. Itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. A oh my god. It all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now. I'm just gonna stand here. Life. The new Stanley parable has all the content, with extra features. That's cool. Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just, he would prove it. He Sound like a Stanley Parable nerd? Yeah, you were. That's okay. Everybody's allowed to be a nerd in some capacity. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt there we go. The weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Do you play any other games, Fresh True? What else do you like to play? This one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let do me you go stream back to as well? Job. Or do you just Let me watch? Continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. And my job. Oh, I'm married. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am streamed yesterday. Okay. That's cool. I'll have to go check out your. Do you stream? You don't stream on Twitch. Do you stream on Twitch? No. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. My word. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, Woman? and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a oh, man no. who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the <laughs> oh, no. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. It's a lot of dialogue. In a way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, <laughs> and so she left life. him. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You play one by one. You can tell me what ending you want to do first. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, tell me where to go from here then. We'll do the cheat one. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh no, I don't want to leave the game. Sorry. 
<laughs> Tell me something else. Should I do what you were gonna say last time? Go on the the right or door number two? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm going to the right this time. <laughs> Sorry. You guys, I'll be right back. I'll be back. Don't leave me. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. Okay, let's go to the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, indeed. If you want to do the cheat room, you have to go to properties, launch option, enter console. Once you open the game again, there will be a console to run the game once you officially spawned in. Okay, maybe next time. Thank you, though, True. I'm not, uh, I'm not very game uh, tech savvy, to be honest. I just play on very... Uh, very basic and easy. I'm terrible at gaming, so uh, you can't expect me to know this stuff. <laughs> it's not my forte. <laughs> Perhaps I will uh, try it next time. Thank you, though. Wow. Yes. This. What a room. gorgeous room. What okay, you obviously didn't like it. Business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. What if I go straight? Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh my god. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Yes, true. I will send you my, uh, my Discord, um... Uh, on, uh, I'll send you a message on Twitch for my Discord after. When I'm done. Will do. Because I don't even know what my Discord is, to be honest. <laughs> uh... Okay, here. Go on the platform. The orange platform, this one here. Once the platform goes over the metal bridge, walk off the platform on the metal bridge. Oh, okay, that metal bridge over there. This is probably not going to end well for me. What if I don't make it onto the bridge? <laughs> okay, walk off the platform on the metal bridge. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh, someone no! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets See? to tell him what to do, Stanley <laughs> You'll fall and break your knee and, and die. To his death. Like Good that. Job, Stanley. Everyone <laughs> thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Okay. Oh, the phone is ringing. Where's it coming from? Is it this one? It is 434? Okay. Good morning. Thank you for Ooh. contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. <laughs> Can you verify that this is correct? Sure. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Okay.
All of his co-workers were gone. Baby. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, I got a ton of cardboard boxes. It's uh from the Happiness Foundation or some such place. <laughs> I don't know. This game is quirky. It's awesome. When Stanley came to a set of came going to the doors, right. He entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the You're employee such a badass. lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? But eager Nothing. to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't following. You meet the end ago. of your life again? Okay. Walking from the side. Gotcha. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. Come on, Curly, you can do this. The story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. No! Someone you but in his eagerness to prove <laughs> that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform. Yeah, and he doesn't. Uh... Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful.